Hey now Take a step outside and seize the day now Now if you saw our last video, Sue caught COVID from Nashville. Now that was 10 days ago, but fortunately Sue made a full recovery. That's right, I'm much better now. I had a little grade fever, a cough, runny nose, sore throat for a couple days, probably about five, and now I'm better. Now we both did get the vaccine, and I think it helped because we both had COVID after the vaccine, but we recovered pretty quickly. So today we're gonna get you back in shape and we're gonna take a, our usual walk on the beach. And I think we'll go down to the jetty because Hurricane Fiona was off the coast of South Carolina this week, and it may be a good time to look for shells. Are you ready? I'm ready. You got the energy? I do. Okay, let's see how this goes. It was a beautiful day in Merle's Inlet, so we jumped in the spider and headed to Huntington Beach State Park. Our plan was to park at the jetty parking lot and then walk up to the jetty looking for shells along the way. Okay, so today we're parking at the northern parking lot in Huntington Beach State Park, otherwise known as the Jetty Parking Lot, and we're gonna take a walk north. But before we hit the beach, we're gonna take a quick look at the lake. Now just beyond those trees straight ahead you'll find the beach and the Atlantic Ocean. And that's where we headed next. Alright, let's start our four mile, four mile beach walk. You ready for this? I think I am. <laughs> We're at the northern section of Huntington Beach State Park and we walked north towards the jetty. Sue was on the hunt looking for shells. Now this section of Huntington Beach State Park is not only popular for sunbathers in the summer, but also with fishermen and bike riders. But what most people come here for is its unspoiled natural beauty. Okay, we made it to the jetty. Um, unfortunately, Sue has not found many shells. Um, looks like not much here today. But the jetty is a very popular spot for fishermen. Now the jetty was constructed by the Army Corps of Engineers back in 1977 at a cost of 7.4 million. Its purpose was to stabilize and protect the inlet. It consisted of a north and south jetty. The south jetty ran over 3,000 feet and was constructed with a walkway on top for the fishermen. And that's what we're walking on today. Now Sue didn't find her shells, but she was happy to find something else. I didn't find a shell, but I found my beach ball. walk to the end of the jetty and what you see in front of you is the Atlantic Ocean. From the end of the jetty you get a great view of the Atlantic Ocean. And looking back there's a nice view of the shoreline. After taking a break to enjoy the view we headed back. That 
was a great walk. It really was. But you know, seeing all those fishermen kind of made me uh, hungry for maybe a flounder dinner. What do you think? Sue agreed. And a few hours later, we were heading over to Conk Cafe at Garden City Beach. I love when I don't have to cook. Conk Cafe is very popular. The food is great and the views are even better. Now we had our fish fried, but you can get the flounder grilled and the shrimp broiled. Here's a full view from the deck. We had a great day out and it was great to see Sue back on her feet. Until next time, safe travels.